What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are here in Newport Beach, Mercedes. I'm coming to look at a G-Wagon. Hopefully they let me look at it. Um, oh, look at this one off the back already. Oh, this is guest parking. But look at this color on this one. That is a dope, dope color. I know you guys love that. Um, you guys love that other one, the Ranger Rover we did. The Range Rover we did. Look at look at this lineup over here. Let's see if this is open. Hopefully they don't say nothing. Because this is of course a G wagon. And it's close. So they're not gonna let you really mess around with it. Let's see how much this one costs. Um it don't say, but look at this crazy, crazy looking color. It's like a narlo, narlo gray. It's like a narlo gray with the black. Um, I, I, what do you call this? Like a, I don't know what you call this, but like a front bumper and then metal guard, I don't know. With the crazy black wheels, crazy AMG brakes. Of course it's a V8, big turbo, blacked out mirror caps, blacked out door handle. This is crazy. Let's go see if this ones are open over here. Look at this white. That's the older one. There's another Nala gray one or destroying gray, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if this one's open. Oh, this one is open. I don't think this is anybody's. I don't want to get in somebody's car. This car got three miles, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, we got our Narla Gray Mercedes G-Wagon. Also, guys, like I said in, the, in my last video, comment down below if you guys um, like, the, like the longer videos or the shorter videos. This one is completely, completely blacked out. And the, uh, let me see, let me scoot my seat back a little bit, get a little comfortable. <clears throat> okay, uh, so you have your seat settings right over here. If you've never been inside a G-Wagon, you have your seat settings. You got heated seats, cool it seats, lock, on, uh, lock, unlock, windows down, window lock, mirrors to move the mirrors. I like the way this aggressiveness of the um, AC vents look. I love the big screen. Um, love the big screen. Guys, this truck only has three miles. Wait, oh no, that's miles per gallon. Okay, so three miles per gallon. Um, dang, three miles per gallon? I don't know about that. And then you have like the big, big, big screen here in the front. Then you have this um beautiful AC. You got your lock differentials, heat, AC, your settings for where you want it, how fast you want the fan, auto, max, this fancy, fancy, fancy clock that probably cost ten thousand dollars by itself. I love the way the shift knife looks. Very fancy. You get two cup holders here, two cup holders, a little space here for your key. Okay, you can lock it for privacy, blacked out. You get space here, like the Range Rover, for whatever you want to put here. Okay, beautiful handles. I love the way it just all sits. Okay, of course it do come with, um, it's not a panoramic sunroof, but you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be a almost $300,000 G-Wagon, I would expect for you to have um, a panoramic sunroof. And at least this can be electric. What? Why do I got to use my hands to move this? Okay, so you get speakers on top. Your lighting. Um, let's see what this look like. Yellow lighting. I would expect at least like some type of blue LED lighting on this truck. Um, okay, you get your glove compartment. Nice space in here. 
It would have been nice if it had like another one up here in the top. And then your passenger door gets the same settings you get. Um, same settings. So beautiful AMG seats, blacked out seats. I love the way, um, I love the way the door looks. It looks very elegant and very fancy. Like the diamond stitching looks very nice. Blacked out on the door here. Nice uh, metallic handle. You do get a pocket here, which you can put some drinks in here. I love the way the AMG light lightens up. But I would like try to put like some type some, some type of protection on this so it doesn't get scratched up. Um, aggressive, aggressive pedals. Like I said, the beautiful diamond stitching seats. It's it's very nice. It's very elegant, you would say. Let's unlock the back. And again, y'all, this is probably a $200,000 truck. No, not, not probably. It is a $200,000 and something thousand dollar truck. Um, but they say that the back is not the best. So the, they say the back comfortability is not the best. So we're about to see um, how it is. Like I said, I'm not the biggest guy in the world. I'm only 5'7". So um, let's start with this door right here. So you do get a nice... You know, uh, diamond stitching padding again. Nice, like, matte uh, leather. Again, blacked out uh, doors. Metal handle again. You, okay, so you do get heated seats. Um, you do get heat, heated seats in this one. I would think you have cooling seats as well, but I guess not. Nice cup holder here. Nice cup holder. So now, you do get another AMG uh, little badge here that lightens up. And let's hop over here in the back. scratch this truck because uh, I don't not want to be in any type of uh, <laughs> okay so like I said I'm 5'7 um, this is as far as it goes I'm guessing as far as it goes and I barely have space I barely have a fist of space so imagine a tall person that has to scoot their seat back all the way back it would be kind of tight Nice little uh, pocket here for books, an iPad, something. You get your own vent, heat or AC right here. Of course, you can control your, your you, can, you can definitely control your heat or AC in the back. Nice aggressive vents here. Again, nice blacked out diamond stitching here on the seats. Just the two though, just the two edges. The middle one is just like a, a flat, no stitching or anything like that. So. Um, nice lighting back here. Hooks to hook up your your, your suits, because of course, um, you know somebody fancy will be, of course, putting their suits back here. Um, you get to put your window down. Again, y'all, it's a. Uh, I wish you would have a panoramic sunroof, or I don't know if some of them come with panoramic sunroofs. I don't really know G wagons. But I do love them. I see them on the street all the time. Okay, nice armrest for cup holders. Two cup holders. Looks like you got a little more space here. What is this? I don't know. That's fancy. Um, nice recliner. So, what do you guys think about the back? Let's go to all the way to the back now to the trunk. Again, it got nice. And guys, I don't want to slam it, but G wagons, you gotta slam the doors because it's like a G wagon thing. See? Um, nice side steps. And again, this one do come with the blacked out rims with red AMG calipers. Big tire holder. I don't know what to call these. What do you call these guys? It's like a tire holder? Like what? What is it called? 
Nice, beautiful. Okay, so you get a tow hitch, uh, a hook, your nice LED lighting back here. Let's see how heavy this door is, because people be saying it's heavy. Yeah, it is somewhat heavy. But all right, yeah, so you get space back here. You can fit about, I don't know, a couple suitcases back here. You got a little sto uh, storage here on the side. Nice 15 volts to plug in something. PlayStation, phone charger. Nice lighting. Like I said, I wish they would have like blue lighting, not yellow lighting. And this is just like to go into the front. So that's where, like the little pocket I just showed you guys in the front. This did not go up. Another metal bar here just so you don't scratch your car. And then more diamond stitching on the side. So more diamond stitching. And like I said, y'all, I might have to say why to to that because it's you know like you're supposed to have a panoramic sunroof man you're almost a three hundred thousand dollar truck and you don't have a panoramic sunroof but this is a beautiful truck guys comment down below what you guys think about this truck it's like the color on it is just amazing like and then if you guys ever seen the six by sixes man they are lifted like this is the regular height the six by six is probably like about this high and it looks so aggressive comment down below what you guys think about this i don't want to open the hood and all that because i don't want them to really say something they're gonna be like you're already recording bro like you're doing too much but beautiful front grill i love the way i'm not like, one thing about the g-wagons that i love i love the way the headlights look the headlights look so aggressive like and then especially when the leds are on it looks so dope one thing I would do though, of course me, I would have to, you know, I, and then also I love the way the tent in the front be looking. Like they be having like that purple tent or that blue tent. It looks beautiful. So guys, this one is $213,000. So it's way cheaper than a Range Rover. Would you guys go for this Range Rover or would you guys go for the truck, the, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Would you go, would you guys go for this G-Wagon or this G-Wagon? Or would you guys go for the G-Wagon and uh, uh, or go for the Range Rover that I recorded last time. That video got over 13,000 views. So that means you guys liked the video. That's why I came and did another popular truck, the G-Wagon. A lot of people like uh, driving the G-Wagons. Um, yeah, I love the, the front bar, the metal bar, you would say. Uh, of course, I would have to black out the AMG and that Mercedes. But I love the way the this turn, this guy, this is the turn signal, so I love the way it's kind of smoked out. Then, of course, you do get a front camera. Which rims would you prefer? Those rims? Or would you prefer the blacked out rims? I think I would go with the blacked out rims with the AMG. And this one, yeah, this one is a blacked out one. Same thing. Same exact truck, just in black. And the rims do change, of course. Comment down below what you guys think about this truck, y'all. You, would you guys go for a G-Wagon? Would you guys go for a Range Rover? Like, which truck would you go for in a high-class, um, modern type style? Comment down below. Also, guys, comment down below what you guys want to see. Also, I asked the other day when we went to the car show, I asked the other day, what, do you guys like longer videos or do you guys like shorter videos? Because, um, uh, I know some people like longer videos, shorter videos. What videos would you prefer? Look at this, man. Look at the way the sun is hitting this. This is hitting it amazing. Then we got the beautiful Newport, uh, Newport Beach right over there. So comment down below, y'all. Yeah. Peace.